previously last week on Cock Die the Heroes uh, Adventure as Fuck. Making the Abyss's most powerful demon lords look like pussies, they located the Sword of Zeriel and left out the back door of the Bleeding Citadel. Making their making your way down the tributary chasm, they discovered another demon lord chained waist deep in a black tar pool. Killing the chain devils without compunction, they freed their newfound demon lord friend, Kochechi, and now stand before the frost giant as he extracts himself from the sticky blackness. <laughs> oh, thanks, friends. Appreciate the hand. Does he already have a weapon? <laughs> he is currently unarmed. Uh, do we have anything to arm? Uh, I could give him a dagger. Oh wait, no. Uh, Exlipius is gonna like gesture over to Dolos, and Dolos is gonna turn into like a giant fire. But it's just floating there. Like think about a video game where you like kill something and it gets dropped, so and that's floating. I could give him an iron door, and he could hit people with that. <laughs> No, it's easier for him to escape the scythe. Plus, it does extra damage anyway. Uh, Kochechi, after a moment, walks up and picks up the giant scythe at, uh, flexing it, like testing the weight in his hands. He's like, yes, yes, this will do. I will reap many souls with this. <laughs> As it stands now, nobody else could really hear Dolos, but since the giant is holding Dolos, he can speak to him telepathically. And Dolos can speak back. Oh Jesus, what the fuck? It's, it, it's talking. Oh, oh shit. It's nothing but screaming. Oh fuck! Oh, oh god, oh shit. Uh, he can have that. Dolos does the extra. One moment, let me actually find his thing. It's the 1d6. Oh no, 3d4 of his choice of damage. So, lightning, thunder, cold, acid, or fire. Alright, understood. Dolos is a plus 11 to hit. Yeah, Dolos, you special magic weapon. Oh, I appreciate it. I always feel a little naked without a weapon. <laughs> Just don't get him dirty. Well, of course not. And he uh, kind of lifts him up above the black sticky tar that surrounds you guys. And as you guys, you're like, feel good about yourselves. You've done your good deed for the day. All right, time to trade uh, some more of that GME stock. You feel the something watching y'all. Can I, can I take a look around? Can we see anything watching us? Reception check. Reception. Oh, Starting off right. Natural 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> passive perception at 18. I have passive 25. Passive 25? Never yeah. mind. I'm used to <laughs> Well, uh, with a bass of 25 and the nat 20, you both turn around and see, and you do as well. Milk, you're a slippy as you see your old friend, Balakros 2, the snowman imp. Ew. <laughs> what up, Frosty? Oh, boy, hey there, guys. Hey, uh... I'm sorry, I, they forced me to show you them where you were. I, I wouldn't have brought them you otherwise. I apologize. Please don't kill me. And he looks to you, Aslipius, like, Oh god, no, oh god, not him. He's gonna, oh shit. He's gonna glare him down. 
who made you show us where we were? Mephistopheles, he's got plans. He wants, he's gonna want Zeriel's sword. You just hand it over and, you know, maybe Mephisto? we'll just leave. Mephistopheles. Mephisto? Hmm. Look, I, 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 for the last time I checked, the rule of Kenya was still Mr. Mephistopheles. All right, I, uh, I'm not scared of some two-time and hussy demon. Jesus. I, I missed his name. What was that again? Mephistopheles, or Mephisto for short. He's useless. I'm, I, I'm asking a uh, DM to say it a couple more times. <laughs> Don't know why my players gotta be so mean to me. This is ridiculous. I'm melting from all the sweat I'm feeling here. Hey. Well, I mean... That's, I guess that's kind of up to the sword's new wielder now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and I understand yeah, that you can't end up with a sword now. I just realized that, so yeah, I'm gonna have to kill all of you to get that sword back. So he's just gonna laugh. <laughs> this is not very right. nice. That's amusing, Frosty. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. I, you know, I, you know, I'm quite capable. And he kind of like puts his stick arms out, and you see like little knots ball up imperceptibly. Mm. Can I tell if he's serious about trying That's to kill us? Inside Jack. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. You can tell that he is being duplicitous, almost distractingly so. Hmm. Can I just... You're, you're funny. You're funny, yeah, Frosty. I, you know. What are you trying to do there, Slippius? Firebolt. <laughs> and it's a nat 20. He never stood a chance. Yep, yeah, you paced him right back. You cut, like, a perfect hole in him, and he looks down. Uh, 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 no. And he falls forward, and you see few people arrive. That's more than a few people. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the Nazgung. Unless our friend showed up late. Oh, no, damn. Nope. Yeah, maybe he'll come back next week. But yeah, this fight will be lowered marginally, but not that much because you guys are still super high level. Mm hmm. But stepping Jeez. up over their friend's corpse, two chain devils as well as. An ice devil arrive. And I'm gonna ask everyone for initiative as they just dive right into combat. Oops. Probably should have clicked my token there. There we go. So I'm not supposed to be an 11 though. Uh, um, giant that's building billows gets uh, two extra attacks. Two extra attacks? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Only using billows. Alright, a lot of initiative to track here. Thank you for your patience. 
this is why you need to use the initiative track. I don't need your constructive criticism that's accurate and helpful. You know how to get to open it. It should have the stuff. <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what? <laughs> oh, look at you. So smart. Oh, God. I'm scared. There's so much in there. All right, so I think it's right click. Right click on the top of the tab for the turn order. It should give you the option to organize it in descending or ascending. Are you, are you adding people to the turn order? Yes. Manually? Yes. You didn't need to do that. You click yeah. on the tab and then you do initiative. I'm realizing that now. D delete the it, zoom. it automatically adds us if we do it right. Not not the whole turn order. We just, just oh Jesus. That's why I like paper. Well, that's too bad. The future is now, old man. What's old is new, and what's new is old, and we're all going to be uh, without electricity soon here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be back to rolling stone dice! Oh, God. Dolos, you're up first, as uh, you are in the hands of the Frost Giant. What's he doing? Oh, wait, so do I just do Frost Giant turn? That makes sense to me. Alrighty. Guess I'll do the attacks then. Uh... I'll just, I, I can't move him, so I'm just going to move Dolos. And uh, those are the attacks. A uh, 26, a 30, and a 14. You're attacking the Chain Devils? Uh-huh. Just just this one. Oh, God. Um, yeah, he has a small AC of... 16, so uh, everything hits except for the 14. All right. Do you mind all magical damage? So, handy in calculator. 7 plus 8 plus 9. What? Oh. Uh, 36, I think. Got it. Okay. Yeah, 30, 36 total damage. Yep. Understood. All right, so uh, Gustachi winds up with his giant scythe and chops those chain devils a little bit. Aslipius, you see your friend Dolos march off in the hands of a giant. What are you doing? Uh, what looks to be the biggest threat at the moment? Hmm, you're pretty smart. I'd say. You see most of the enemies in front of you. Give me an intelligence check to gauge how dangerous your foes are. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, probably that big one, which would be uh, <laughs> this guy right here. He takes up two spaces. Uh, can 
the big dude making a wisdom save. Yes, again. What? Damn it. Oh, now you can't even roll. All right. Not bad. Uh, so... Do they have any modifiers, or...? Plus two on the modifier. It's a 19 total. Ah, oh, he just made it. Aha! Well, oh, that, that, that's it. Oh, wait, no. I can, I can do the bonus thingy. Uh. I'll just hit it with a firebolt. Good old firebolt. Nothing beats that. Against his AC of 18, you hit him. All right, 15. And I've got it, and that's going to be over to the Ice Devil's turn. He is going to make a few steps over Mia. He's going to cast Ice Wall on you two. Okay. Wall of ice. I'm gonna need each of you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. I'm at a counter spell. Fucking monster. What level spell is that? I have no idea. Let me type it in here. Looks like Wall of Ice is a sixth level evocation spell. All right. Roll high. Mm -hmm. It's plus my spell attack bonus, right? I always forget how counter spell works. It it's such a long yeah. tech spell. Ah, uh, using my spell casting ability. An ability check, okay. So that'd just be plus my intelligence. Using your spell casting ability, the DC is equal to 10 plus the spell's level, so that would be 6, 16 is the DC. Yep, and then I got a 20. What? No, no, uh. Damn it! Was, ah, you I did! Plus 7. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you feel the eyes forming up around you, you take your hand. No, sir. It stops immediately. You counterspell the ice wall successfully. Bastard. He is going to make some chitness chittering sounds, and then it's going to be... Why did I write chain three times? There's only two chain devils. It's two chain devils. If Coast Judgy would like to make a uh, reaction, uh, take a reaction to attack this guy as he steps out of range. Hey. He may do so. A 14, I think that's just going to miss the Chain Devil. It meets, it beats. He's got an AC of 16, so yeah, he's just able Dang. to duck it. <laughs> and I think I'm going to get two attacks. Three attacks? Two attacks, the Chain Devil on Kaelin. Fourteen and an eight. The fourteen might do it. Twenty-two hit ya. Yep. Was the sixteen hit you? No. Damn you, mage. Get you next time. Seven plus four slashing damage. It's going to be 11 damage, and you are grappled. All right. And this other chain devil is going to make a couple swings on Koshechi, the demon lord. Uh, 
Natural one. I hate that. hate that very much. AC of 16. He is going to get hit. Kosteshi is going to be grappled as well. So nine damage to him. He is grappled. Clementine, you're up. Alrighty. I'm going to move to here. Trying to get in the way a little bit, hopefully. And then uh, I'm going to cast Innovation on the ice devil here, so he needs to make me a deck saving throw. That's kind of scary. I remember the spell vaguely. 18, that's high. You said intelligence? What was it? It's dex. Dexterity plus two, 20 total. So that's oh, not that's enough. Got... Just barely. Ooh. So he takes 25 necrotic damage, yeah. and I heal for... A half, and then yeah. So I heal for, for twelve, and then bonus action. I will use healing word on uh, Kalen. Just at level two. Did I take I any damage it. or did I just get grappled? You did take a little bit of damage. I think it was 11. Seven plus yeah. four, 11 total. Right. So you heal for 14. Okay. Nice. Well, damage negated, I guess. My machinations, yep. no. All right, anything else in your turn, sir? Clementine. Uh, that, that's it for me, <laughs> actually, so. Build up your buddy. That'll count. That helps. Mm -hmm. You guys all see this guy fly directly over your head. Mark himself right here between Asclepius and Kalen. He's going to make a few attacks. Just make a couple attacks here. No big deal, all right? Just a few attacks from this guy. Just and as he just gets close to you guys, you feel a pressure you haven't felt before. This guy may be small, but he's scary somehow. Two attacks on you, Slippy. The second two on you, Kaylin. Okay. Wait, I'm being attacked? Yeah, this guy flew out of the sky and started hacking at you. It's weird, man. He's 29 hit you. Four attacks? Can you make a uh, dexterity save? I can. This better be a reaction. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, is that a two? Uh, oh, four? unfortunate. Alrighty, one moment. Uh. Full fire damage. Uh, okay, I got it. Oh, wee, whoa. What was the damage to me? You see, uh, no damage coming in yet. I'm still rolling up the damage dice. Does a 26 hit you? Why do you even ask? I'm sorry. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Kaylin? No. Wow. Uh, does a 20, 31 hit? Mm hmm. Okay. It's double jagging. 31. Holy shit. Yeah. I 
got a 20 AC. Good. Uh, Slippius, as you see the 12 fire damage try and take hold, it has no effect. Oh no. They're immune. I mean, they, they're devils. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming all of them are immune. This means nothing. So it's going to be 14 piercing damage from a bite as this guy tears into you, and I'm going to need a con save from you, Asclepius. Is it poison? Yes. I'm immune. Fuck and off. it has no effect that I will be fucking off for promptly. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't get poisoned himself because I do have that trait. He is immune to poison as well. All right, then. We stand where we stand. <laughs> <laughs> Bulbous. The fight where you're both immune to everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys look at each other waiting for the poison to have its effect and you're like, I ah, nah, 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 smoke hard or sure shit for breakfast. However, the piercing damage does come through for a total of 14 damage and then I'll do the second claw attack. as well as a 17 slashing damage. And only one of these attacks hits Kaelin. Not the mace, but the tail attack. It's gonna be 11 plus eight, 19 total bludgeony damage from the tail. <laughs> okay. I was gonna end his turn, coming finally to Kaelin. Alright, so am I grappled or restrained? Grappled. Okay. So I can, can I still move? Grappling doesn't let you move. It's like it's only a thing. Until the grapple ends, the target is restrained and takes 2d6 piercing damage at the start of each of your turns. Uh, so you are restrained. Mm -hmm. hey, that you take seven ch 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 cinching damage as the chains dig into you. Mm. Uh, well, I don't like the position I'm in, so I'm just going to go ahead and dimension door my way out of it. Counterspell! No, oh. I'm kidding. Go ahead and dimension door. I'm not happy about it, though. Counter, counter spell. Counter spell. This part, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to manifest my awakened spellbook. What's that do? Ooh, a lot of fancy stuff. I'm scared. Big ass spellbook running around. What is this? Mag mail? Uh, it looks like floating arcane script. I do not have a token for it. Awesome. But I'm putting it... You could use this. My Skeleton <laughs> token. Sure. Skeleton's back. It's I'll have you this time, He-Man. <laughs> and for now, that is it. All right, you bamf out of there. You summon Skeleton, which is just a giant arcane book floating around like pipers. Mm-hmm like it lucky you as you bamf out of there That's vertical. I'm going to say Dolos is out of range. However, Clementine and Aslipius, I'm going to need you guys. Manifest mind. That's so cool. That's a lot of text. It's a lot of text. It is a lot of text. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Clementine and Aslipius, I need each of you to make uh, dexterity saving throws, please. Is it a fire? 
Guys, watch as lightning radiates out from. Uh, what's this guy's name? Hudijin. It is not fire damage. It's like his aura or something. It is a legendary action lightning storm. I need each of you to please take 28 lightning damage. Oof. 19 don't save. I don't know what that is. Is this a spell? It is not a spell. Okay. God dang it. I, I've got a really good item that only works if I'm targeted by a spell and I haven't been <laughs> get, No one's casted a spell on me. In this, uh, in the second encounter I have planned out, there will be someone trying to cast spells on you, so just wait. You'll have your opportunity. Okay. It has another use, but I mean, I'm just like, come on. I want to use it. I, I'm going to make a, constant, a constitution save to maintain concentration on my innovation spell. Nice. So I think Roll. I'd pass. He's going to use... Hudajin is going to use another legendary action to teleport himself right there, and then we're going to come back to the top of the order. Kochechi and Dolos. So coming back to the top of the initiative order, Kochechi, you feel powerful with the uh, Dolos scythe in your hands. What are you doing? Oh, I forgot. Okay. I'm gonna memento compadre while I get Dolus' sheet up. Uh. So the scythe in his hand is already pretty big, so it's gonna shrink for a sec. Only to, like, release a single tiger. So that's there, and the scythe is smaller, but. You can make those two. And then. You swinging on the chain devil? Mm hmm. And then the tiger can make that last attack. So... Jump! I love it. Okay, the 22 and the 18 are gonna hit. Okay, so that's. Oof. 41 total damage. Yeah, and you tear into him, and as the scythe rips out parts of his guts and his intestine, he goes to the knee. He's looking rough. Rough is enough. He should be looking dead. Chain Devil's got a little bit of health to him. If that other, uh, if the first scythe attack had hit, he'd be toast. Alrighty. Well, yeah, you see him go to a knee, a slippy. Uh, it is your turn. As a bonus, Flippy, is this a person who bit him still near him? That's this guy. Yes, uh, Hudajin ah. is about 10 feet away from you. Cool. Uh, as a bonus, I'm going to try to constrict him. So I have advantage on this, this grapple thing. But it's basically just him wrapping his lower half around him. So, I Does guess it's I guess it's the same as regular grapples. I just have advantage, which isn't very much considering my my strength score. And then he's already a size larger than him, so I don't know how larger creatures grappling smaller creatures works. Gives yes. advantage. Well, I already had advantage. Get double advantage. <laughs> which doesn't work. work. <laughs> which means you can roll one extra dice. Oh. <laughs> So Hadajin, uh, he sees you coming. He watches As you approach. You see, my strength isn't the best. You try and wrap him up, but because he saw you approaching, he kind of just hovers up into the air and just kind of dangles up out of reach every time you start to get a squirm, a his squirming form wrapped up. Ah, uh, hate my life. You should have gone to the gym. <laughs> Alrighty, I need him to make a con save. 
Fuck him. Natural one. That makes me sad. All right. Well, I wasn't able to keep him in place to give him disadvantage on that, but this is fine. Slippy's gonna like grab his face with his hand, and like just a multitude of insects are just gonna swarm out of his head and fill up a twenty-foot area. Let me get out this this, this the freak hand thing. Oh God! Ah! I'll I'll get his damage after I uh, measure out the uh, area. So uh, scary! Oh my God! Hold up. Uh, I'll I'll make it this way. So, oh, not just him. Edit it. So about around uh, this square, I guess. So, I, I don't remember where I measured. Just imagine this was it. Yeah, I'm gonna say you get you. Every everyone is swatting flies all around themselves. Yep. Uh, all this right. Is a bad situation. Let me pull up the damage. Plus my uh. Let me find my spell. Plus ten. So. 47. Let me figure out what damage that is. 47 piercing. Nice roll. Holy crap. So if the chain yeah. devil goes down in a, a swarm of razor flies, it would have made the ancient serpent people proud. My ancestors spile upon me. Can you say the same? Worthy. She is worthy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's toast. I don't know who skeleton monster thing this was. That's my spectral mind. Is it physical? Can it take damage? It, I believe it can technically take damage. I'll, I'll, I'll use sculpt spells for it. it. It'll be okay. I was gonna ask, can these uh, flies distinguish between friend and foe? They should, should be able to. Okay, fine. They can. Uh, even if they didn't, I, I'm able to Work around it. Right, I've got the 37 on Hudge. 47. Oh, 47? I only heard 37. Okay, thank you. I oh, know, it's 47. My uh, spell attack thing is added to the spell bonus is added to the damage. Mm -hmm. Only a plus 10. What do you mean, only a plus 10? <laughs> yeah, hey! Yeah, you only have a plus 10. <laughs> Wait, what do you have? 14. Now we have plus 13. God! Come I thought on, I'd get guys. I'm a powerful wizard, and people were like, so much better than me. What is this? Come on, now. Don't, no, no need to be uh, making each other feel inadequate based on how big their sp uh, spell modifiers are. Come on. We don't go around pulling our spell modifiers out and then <laughs> measuring them up against you. Know, this is, what do you think this is, you guys? This isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want this character to <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> Alright, I got all the damages. It is the end of Slippy's turn. That is going to mean the Ice Devil's turn. As he was unable to trap the casters in an opaque wall of ice. Counter spell! He's just going to try and come. Finch on the mage! Merge, get you. It's one. Oh, as one he moves away from me, ah! I am going to use my reaction to uh, cast a spell on him since I have Warcaster. Nice. Ooh. Um, I. I don't know if I have anything to keep him from moving, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I guess I'll just use a cantrip. No, right? Um, he will make a wisdom save. Move 21. Well, badly. Okay. So he takes 17 necrotic damage. All right, I got it. Now I got it. And then he's going to get to Caleb after doing a shot in the back. Remember that. So the, the manifest mind is not HP or anything. It's intangible. So, it's just, it's good. so it doesn't take any it. damage? Correct. Understood. 
All right, so that doesn't recharge, and then the Ice Devil is going to take three attacks against Shmoo. The feeling the 18 is going to hit. It looks like a plus 10 modifier. Does an 18 yeah. hit? 18? No. 18, Mrs. Clem, and, uh, or Kaylin. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure the 28s will hit. Yeah. Even if I need shield, <laughs> I can't do anything. It looks like a bite and a claw coming through. I'm running low on spells. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, that's going to be 13 damage. That is piercing from the bite, plus an additional. Nine cold damage. I actually think I have resistance to cold damage. And four. As well as the second tail, uh, the only other, the second attack... Uh, tail attack coming through. No idea. All right. But for nine bludgeoning. Ooh, with an extra uh, 13 cold damage. So how much is that overall? Thirty looks like it's thirty-three if every if it's all the rules after the three T twenties. Ten twenty, yeah. I got forty three. What'd you get? Looking at the dice seven plus, it's a nine, plus five sixteen. Um, it's a plus five modifier for the bite and the tail. Yeah, so thirty three plus whatever the so plus ten, so yeah, forty three. 43 total, and of that damage, the cold damage was 9 plus 13, 22, half down to 11 if you have the resistance. I did not. Yeah, it's good, good. I finally hurt the mage a little bit. <laughs> hurt the mage a lot of it. <laughs> yes, yes, it feels good. Uh... Nice devil. All right, back to the chain devil. He is going to make... Um... Okay, that one died. I will kill that one. Clementine, are you grappled? Uh, no, the Chain Devil didn't attack me. That's because the Chain Devil knows better. Mm -hmm. Slippius. Is it? Yeah, he looks over at the um, the stout wall of iron and is like, nah, mm -hmm. nah. Basically. I attack this mage over here instead. Does a, I'm pretty sure, plus eight to hit. 25 will hit. Are both of those coming in hot? I guess the cloud of death insects was the first damage this chain devil took. Just double checking, making sure this one still can attack and isn't dead already. That's okay. Plus four, so it's going to be 12 damage for the first strike. Plus 11, making it uh, 23 damage total, and you are grappled. The chains dig into your flesh, tying you to the ground. Host is grappled. Aslibius, you are grappled. Yes, yeah, actually. Oh no! Oh, no, no. How does it work for grappling creatures larger than you? That's a good point. Uh, I believe that... It, it would be the opposite. But Did... he's using this chain, so I don't know. I think yeah. I would connect it. Yeah. It depends on whether or not it says he... If it just automatically does it. 
Is it just if just he hits on an attack, or is it like a bonus thing that he can do if he gets the attack? Correct. So if the chain attack hits, the creature targeted is grappled, and they are... If the devil isn't already grappling a creature, so it looks like an auto... auto grapple. Yeah. All right. How much damage? 23 slashing. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot I had the one. Hold on. 23? Correct. Oh, no. I'm only at 27 health. I need healing. I need healing. <laughs> All right, that's going to be the end of the Chain Devil's turn. Clementine, speaking of healing. All righty. So I'm going to use my action to activate innovation again. So it's just... Uh, until the spin ends, I can use my action on each of my turns to just automatically do 48 necrotic damage to the target. So he takes 18 necrotic damage. Is this the who ice doing devil. Oh, the this ice is devil. the ice devil. Okay. It has to be the same target. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I heal for nine. This one of life gets me a little bit extra. Parasite, life-sucking monster, Clementine. Mm -hmm. uh, drink his life force, basically. I'm not enjoying that. <laughs> you drink a demon's life force away. That's just, that's so evil. It's so tasty. To... No, it's not tasty. You're supposed to drink the blood of children, not demons. And we're in their home playing, so if they die, they die forever. The demons actually are, um, well, these devils, you're right. Yes, that is true. And then, bonus action for Mass Healing Word at 4th uh, level here, so everyone heals for 17. Yay. I don't have a Lay on Hand, so I can't do big heals, but... I don't have any healing cells. Neither do I. Oops. And that is my turn, I think. Ye uh, if I can stay, I guess I'll, I'll move here if, I, if that's uh, as long as that's outside the cloud. Yeah, I'll say you're uh, just on the edge. You, the buzzing gets louder, but you're able to avoid the death cloud of insects. Yes. Okay, and then that's my turn. Oslipius, well, the uh, Hodogen is going to move out of your range if you'd like to perform, if you'd like to take an opportunity attack. Can I even do... Actually... Punch him with your fist. I am not very strong. You a warcaster? Actually, I am. I think that's one of the first feats I picked up. It's really good. If you have Warcaster, you can cast a spell. Ah. Uh, can you make a con save? This is, this is the Demon Lord will make a con save. Oh, this guy's a Devil Lord. Uh-oh. God, he is rolling so low on his saves. Does a 12 save? No. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, I hate my life. I like those sandwich ones. <laughs> Alright. So... It's not as extravagant as it should be, but he bursts into, like, radiant, beautiful flames and takes seven radiant damage. That actually goes right through his resistances, and he is not happy about it. Yes. Shit, they've discovered my weakness! Radiant damage! It's a cantrip, too! I can do it again, old man! Oh, Resist. shit! I'm not old! Only been I there, but. Demon is old. Well, that's. Um, I forgive you. That's uh, a common mistake. However, I'm a devil, and I have been in service of the uh, ninth layer. No, eighth layer. Canine. Fifth layer. It's one of those. I should really know that. 
Uh, you know the memory goes with old age. Oh, damn it! <laughs> God, oh, no. But Slippy's like 352. Oof. Well, how long do you live, though? A very long time. Then you could still be technically Teenager. considered young. They mature around like 150. A young man, Aslibius still has that sharp mind and the even sharper tongue as he cuts deeply into Hudigen's pride. He's gonna take two attacks up at the Frost Giant. And two more against Clementine. Uh, Frost Giant's AC is up by two when he's holding Dolos. That'll make it 18. Oh. Hmm. Surprisingly low AC for a demon lord. Very much so. Why do we get the shitty demon lord? <laughs> <laughs> you did get captured. Don't let him hear you that. Really? I'll say it's whoa, whoa, whoa! Serial's really powerful, right? She's defeated a lot of people. Right. What's this other demon that has legendary actions? Can we just take him? <laughs> 27 hits you, Clementine. Ooh, it actually does. Finally. Oh man, I, I had the opportunity to learn shield when we leveled up and I forgot to. Ooh, you Ooh. gotta take that, man. You should just ask to copy mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or nine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, TPK. I'm going for it tonight, baby. Yes. You would dare. <laughs> oh, you don't know me at all, uh, Slippius. You've been playing with me for a year now, and you don't see how I'll go for your throat right when another player isn't here. So you don't have no, full you team. No, we fought that dude in the floating chair. We could have died there. We'd be like, oh no, by you know, plot armor. You're still alive. <laughs> plot hole as so, big yeah. as a hole in the you volcano. No cojones. <gasps> Consumer will wake up from his spirit voyage with the sword and there'll be three new people that he's never seen before. <laughs> hey, who are these people? <laughs> wow. Alright, no poison damage coming in on the Slippiest. Oh, he should have made that bite attack against Clementine. Yeah. At this point, they should know he's immune. They bit him one. It's true. That's true, but I already assigned the attack, so no going back. He was Plus, just trying to make sure. It's going to be 14 on the first attack. Plus, is that me? These first two are coming in on Do. Uh, excuse me, Coast Jetchy. Okay. It's gonna be twenty-one plus. Right, we've got that damage, and then the second two attacks. It's gonna be a nine and an eight. It's gonna be a seventeen. Plus 16. Is that 33? 33 bludgeoning damage coming in to you, Clementine. 33. Is it magical? Yes. Ah, oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna make my con save for my spell. More caster gives me advantage. Uh, damn, that's rolling high. Yeah, I think a net twenty is. Uh, oh yeah, more than enough. Yeah. So I, I keep concentration on innovation. Oh shit! Who do you have? Oh, that's right on the ice devil. Uh, that's on the ice devil. Yeah. When does that take damage? Did I take damage for that? Yeah, I have to use my action on my turn to keep it up. Understood. So, Speaking of, oh wait, no, that's coming time. Kalen, you're up. Uh -huh. 
I really don't like this thing being next to me, so I'm gonna channel the power through the staff and I'm gonna try to use it to cast Hulk, Hulk Monster. Who oh, there? Yeah. So save on that. Hulk Monster is a wisdom save. 12? Is that on um, the. Is it on Hootagen? Is it on the Chain Devil? It's on this one right here. Ah, the Ice Devil. Plus two, that'd be a 14 total. That fails. Hello. He is now paralyzed. Locked in place. Yeah, you see the Ice Devil freeze. Oh, the irony. Nice. <laughs> Skirt around. Oh. Over here. Mm -hmm. You go on a lovely stroll, dip your toes in the cool, warm waters of the Soul River Sticks. Can't believe you guys killed Balacros too. That was cruel. He's so jovial. <laughs> well, we're gonna end up killing all the devils by the time we're done. <laughs> Monsters, how can you kill all these wonderfully beautiful That'll souls? Be all right, yeah, you go over there. Did you guys any spells? I'm confused. I cast hold monster so it couldn't hit me. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you paralyzed them. Yeah, that's it. I have a goldfish memory. If it happened three seconds ago, you're going to have to repeat yourself. It's all good. I need a Slippius. Yep. Because Chechi and Clementine, please make dexterity saving throws as <laughs> lightning branches <laughs> out. I can't really make dexterity saves for anything. What? what? What's the thing for that if I'm grappled? Because I'm assuming I'm having to move out of the way. Disadvantage. Uh, I'm not sure. Ah, well, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. The chain devil is grappled and restrained. It's disadvantage. I think. Restrain might make it to where you automatically fail. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to dodge lightning when you're strapped to the ground by bloody infernal chains. I think it's uh, just disadvantage, looks like. Neither a 9 or a 7 is gonna save you, however. I rolled low as fuck, though, so please only take uh, 17 lightning damage. Did a 16 save? I'm guessing that right. Unfortunately, no. 17 the lightning damage as well to you, Clementine. Ow. I gotta roll again for my spell. Just no. Yeah, you're good. I'm good still. Woo. Nice. And then, uh, who is the skelly man? Is he still up? That's just the floating ghost mine thing. Ah, yes, of course. It's intangible. Cannot die. That is yeah. going to be it for his legendary actions. It's going to bring back up to the top. Kostyuchi and Dolos. Get zapped a little bit. Get a little zapped. What are you doing? Uh, I guess we'll go for this thing. Twenty nine, twenty seven hit, thirteen does not. Alrighty. So God, I hate the math part. Thirty one total damage. Got it. Yeah, that's it. You guys watch a massive frost giant take this awesome soul eater scythe and tear into this. Devil guy. Keep calling him a demon. It's terrible of me. I'm sorry. 
Oh no. Slippius, you see your good friend tear out the guts of this devil. What are you doing? Am I still being grappled? You still do have chains on you, yes. Alright, how close is the thing that's grappling me? Directly in front of you. Alright, uh, bonus. Gonna. Gonna bite him. Oh god! Do either of those hit? <laughs> Well, you have disadvantage as well. For biting him? While restrained, your, all your attack rolls have disadvantage. Gosh. I hate that life. Unfortunately, just like a party that you can't get out of, you just missed it. I need strength saves to get out of this, sir. To break the grapple? Yeah. Should be. These are chains, too. To escape! <laughs> Oh, uh, the target, um, the target is grappled, escape DC 14. I don't think I could make that. <laughs> yes, you wizard. I can make that. <laughs> Little trouble with those strength saving throws and ears. All right, I'm just going to let this know to everybody in this room. Leave this thing to me, I swear to God. You can kill everything else, but this one, he has insulted me. <laughs> Somehow you feel the chains get tighter. Uh, this chain devil is very afraid and nervous all of a sudden. The ice devil he is... should be. <laughs> the ice devil is going to go ahead and try and break the paralysis? Mm-hmm. At the end of his turn. End of his turn? I think it's a con save, correct? Wait, it's Oh, it's even lower. 15? 15, yes. 15, no. Damn. All right, still paralyzed. That's going to be the chain devil's turn. Um, Do you think you can take reaction attacks? Uh, attacks a reaction if you're grappled. Huh. Yeah, there will be a disadvantage still, like everything else. Yeah, the Chain Devil sees that he's in a tough spot. He wants to flee for his life, be bared down on by this giant half-man, half-snake person, but... He knows he'll be slaughtered viciously if he turns and flees in battle, so he'll just do 180 and make two attacks on Clementine. Okie doke. Both of those miss terribly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clementine, you just see this chain devil flail at you and sidestep the chains, no problem. Hmm. Perhaps he's not used to someone as short as I. Yeah, you saw a lot of the twisting attacks. It would have made uh, Belmont proud. They go right over your head. You don't even have to duck. Clementine meditates. What to do? What to do? Oh, is it my turn? Yes. Sorry. Oh, it's your turn, okay. I didn't realize. Uh, well, action to just drink some more of this Ice Devil's soul. So he takes 18 more necrotic damage. So I uh, heal 9 and get a little bit of a. Boost. And I'll do the same thing over again, I guess, and I'll uh, cast Mass Healing Word at fourth level on everybody. That's quite a potent combo where you sit there sucking the life out of this Ice Devil and buffing everyone and pumping them full of bonus, uh, bonus healing. Bonus mm -hmm. action healing. 
There's a potent little combo you got there. There's only a way to kill you. <laughs> I'll be break my concentration. Can't even hit you. <laughs> so everyone gets uh, 16, including the uh, giant friend, since he took damage, right? He did. All right, I got his right. damage back. Then I'll target him as well. It's up to six. Understood. He's looking better. That is my action and bonus action, so that's my turn. I was going to bring it to Hootagin's turn. A lot more confident at the beginning of this fight. He looks around seeing his Ice Devil companion paralyzed and the Chain Devil almost getting completely eviscerated and destroyed. Come on, that sword. Stop, please, as requested, I recover it. Never let him down. This will not be the day I fail him. Two more attacks coming in on... I'm just going to go ahead and move right here. Oh, I can attack him. I can use my forecast on him, right? You turn to to shoot at him, but all you see is a faint puff of dark smoke. He teleports. Okay, oh, doke. He's gonna go I'm at you. Like snap legendary. my fingers, dang it! No, just hit a moment ago. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and take a tail attack and a claw attack against Kalen. He has reach. He's got ten feet of reach. I'm trying to figure out how to attack Clementine and Kalen at the same time, but I can't because you're too far away. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on down. He's gonna make four attacks against Kalen. Oof. Oh boy. Uh. Right here. What's that, Oslibius? Like, where did he move from? He was right here. He teleported to right here with a legendary action uh -huh. and then bumped forward the remaining distance. Coward? Yes, he is quite cowardly. He didn't rise to the top of the ranks. Being honorable. But teleporting, does that, like, just negate the... He basically yeah. misty stepped, yeah. yeah okay. Protect, okay. I hate misty step. 11, 12, 13, 14. What a roll. Does a 26 hit you, Kaylin? Yeah. All right, time to roll some days here. So this is going to be 15 piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. 21. 22 is the DC. You are poisoned. Uh. Yeah, that was a high DC. You suffer an additional 11 poison damage. How much was the piercing? I actually scratch that additional damage. It looks like you only take that at the beginning of your turn. Okay. The piercing damage was, uh, 20, no, <laughs> the 107, no, uh, it is 8 plus 7, 15. Okay. Still. Rest of the damage. Two ones, so that'll be 10 additional slashing damage. Okay. Getting a little robbed. 16 bludgeoning damage from the mace. I 
Ugh. An additional 12 from the tail. Really hoping for some more fireworks there. Still standing. Not for long, you sassy mage. You will get you. That is going to end Hadajin's turn. Kaelin, you just get walloped by this winged devil. What are you doing? Um... I'm going to turn invisible. Using my racial innate spellcasting ability, I'm going to turn invisible. It's a pro gamer move. I like it. And then I'm going to try and get away. <laughs> yeah, you turn invisible. You wouldn't know uh, which way you're headed. Yeah. But as I leave his range, you can still attack me at disadvantage. Yeah, that's what I'm I was thinking. Ooh. I'm sure this time I can double doesn't have true sight. Okay. I really hope he doesn't. <laughs> well, that's a 4 and a 14, so those are big differences. Hmm. Let's see if he has true sight. Uh, uh, senses, true sight, 120 feet. <laughs> true sight. Doesn't have uh, not revenge. <laughs> but the first roll is technically the four. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'll say you're able to duck out of the way just by the hair of your mage teeth. Just, just and, for a bonus action, I'm going to add my mind to the left right there. And that's it. Alright, this is back to the top. Dolos and Coach Shechi, what are you doing? You see like a mage, scared, huddle, and fright behind you. I'm invisible, so now they don't. You're right, you don't do that. Unless he has true sight as well. <laughs> Dolos Dolo. might. Yeah, Dolos has true sight. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as high as the, whatever that thing is, but it is a good 60 feet. And Kostiachi does have true sight for 120 feet as well. <laughs> so yeah, they they see me. Yeah, I took up, I picked up the gnome uh, facial that gives me true sight. But yeah. it's, everybody has true sight but me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least Rips. I got. Well, does 20 hit? 20 does hit, yes. So that's 19 damage. Because he got bit. None of the scythe attacks hit, but the tiger. Yeah, he did his job. Hell yeah. 19. Yeah. Should be 9. I'm uh, guessing that those are... Are those magic bites? Oh yeah, everything Dolos has magic because he's considered a magic weapon. Well, I'll take full damage then. Yeah. Alright, I've got it. Yeah, that's our entire turn. The end of the Ice Devil's turn. He'll make another roll to get out of the Paralyze. 14, that's not bad. Uh, wait, hold on. I need to make four constitution saves. Isn't invisibility concentration as well? So if it's have... an innate ability, does it? Well, is it? Because it comes from my race. Oh, that's pretty amusing. Yeah. It... I know for, like, I don't know the specifics of your race. I know for tieflings, though, they're, they're spells they get with, like, normal spells. Okay. Because I've, I've played quite a few tieflings. So. 
how to race this trait come from them actually casting a spell, or if they just needed a name for what they're doing. And like actual yeah. rules for it. Nope. Like I said, it's up to you to decide in DM. Hold up like normal. Let's get four concentration checks. I think that should be enough for you to get out of this uh, ice devil. Hold on. Check the damage again. Half damage or 10, whichever is higher. Yeah. Gets right. out of that nine. Mm, it's advantage, so the, it's the ten. Dang it! Ah! Which is just enough. All so. right, still paralyzed. So at the end of his turn, he'll make a save. Oh wait, he already rolled the fourteen. Uh, plus two is a sixteen save. Nope. Still paralyzed. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Wow, this chain devil's still up? Holy shit. He's gonna sheepish he is very sheepishly gonna take two swipes over at the wizard. Nineteen? Again, am I being hit? Yes, he's a slippiest you're being attacked by the chain devil. Yeah, and nineteen hits. Ooh, two fives. Can you make a, uh, forgot, is it a dex? I think it's a dex. Yeah, it is, this is dex. Uh-oh. That's not very good. But never mind. You, you don't need that. I forgot. Okay. I forget stuff. Who am I? Please <laughs> say 14 damage from the chain devil. First oh, attack. No. As well as 14, wow, four fours, or four fives. 14 from the second attack, and then I will roll the tightening of the chain damage, taken at the beginning oh. of the turn, an additional six. Total of 34 damage on this turn from this one chain devil, wow. Did you roll for the poison damage that Caitlyn should have took on her turn? Because you were poisoned that initial turn, you don't take uh you gain the condition poison, but you do not take that poison damage until the end of your next turn. Which my turn was right after his. Well, fine. Point out facts, why don't you? I'm just trying to be fair. <laughs> be a terrible mistake. I, not not to alarm anybody or anything, but I'm at like nine health. I'm probably going to be down there myself. I haven't dropped under 100 this whole fight. No one knocks me. <laughs> I've also been drinking, the, been drinking the ice devil dry this whole time. Woo! We can do that. And he's frosty. That ice devil's tasting pretty good. How is it not dead yet from him just feeding off of it? From him sitting there like a damn vegetable, paralyzed as shit, getting sucked on? I don't know. Must have, must have a lot of hit points. He does have two, well, it looks like 180 hit points. Maybe even a little more, because that was the first time that he took damage. So it's going to be nine poison damage to you, Kalen. Feel it. It's inside you! That was the Chain Devil's turn. Clementine, you see the situation deteriorating quickly around you. Your friends are hurt, and these devils look... Well, they still look all right. Hmm. Looking at my spells real quick, see if I can't... do anything. Oh, they might be more effective. I guess I'll look to the my party and say, "We want to run. We want to get the heck out of here. We still we still fighting. 
My pride has been wounded. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> For now, no. Or at least until I kill this chain devil. <laughs> then we can leave. Alrighty, well, I guess then I'll... Since Innovate's still up, I'll just drink the Ice Devil again for another... God dang, that's so well. Uh, 13 necrotic damage. Got it. And that will heal. Yeah, a damn Capri Sun. <laughs> it's as citrusy as a delicious Capri Sun, and it's cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the same turn again. Another mess. Uh, key wounds to try and help. Uh, not key wounds, uh, <laughs> healing wood. Yeah. I'm so used to key wounds. That's a 17 for everybody. Fourth level again. We're sitting pretty at full HP over here. <laughs> <laughs> 26 HP. Um, but the chain devil can't even hit me. Really? I feel like I should probably. Because I can still hit everyone with spells. I, I guess I'll move here and try and. I don't really know what else to do, so I'll just end my turn. Stay in the range. woes of a healer, I guess. Yeah. Healer Same being smart, time. staying in range, healing everybody. Again, rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. but that's it for me, so... Hodajin is going to go ahead and move away. Teleporting, not provoking opportunity attacks. I'll square off against you, Clementine. Why the hell not? All right, I'll face him. Bring it on. Like your spunky attitude there. <laughs> Ooh, now 20, I like that. Well, that definitely hits. The claw attack. I'll go and roll up some damage. I think the lowest one to hit you is going to be a 28. Some high rolls now. All of those hit. Please make a constitution saving throw. 23 saves. Nice roll. Please take 15 piercing damage from the bite. Okay. Additional 16 slashing from the claw. Okay. There's a one. Dang it. There's going to be 12 bludgeoning from the maze attack. We don't care. And then an additional 16 bludgeoning from the tail attack. And then at the end of his turn, you hear again lightning crack, and it's going to spark out and hit Aslipius, Clementine, Gosciucci, and Galen. It's going to hit everyone. It's the dex save again. Dexterity save, please, uh, from all of you. Uh, 19 work. 19 misses. Oh, oh! It's like this guy is as powerful ah. as we are. As an eight save. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No. No, it does not. There's <laughs> a twenty-one save. Twenty-one just misses. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. Can't win today. I don't want to do this anymore. I quit. I'm out of here. Screw you guys. I'm getting him. 
going to be 16 lightning damage, please. All right, I got to make f five constitution saving throws. I need to make one. There's one. So I have advantage because Warcaster. So two saves. Third one Two. saves. Got your all Four. saves all the time. This is ridiculous. How I can you roll? This Five. is ridiculous. There we go. Whew. So I innovate a slow. That is ridiculous. You're rolling as low as a six and still Eight. saving. Shenanigans. And I also saved. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of saving. Yeah. Saving cool cats over here. Like it. All right. Kalen, it is your turn. You do save successfully, maintaining innervation. I'm maintaining paralyzation. That I have one. innovation. I'm sorry. Yeah, backwards. God dang. That dude just did half my health and damage in one turn. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh -huh. Um. Now, I'm tired of taking damage, so I'm just gonna, again, focus on the staff and I'm gonna cast Globe of Invulnerability around myself. Sounds fancy. Energy pulses from the staff and then just a clear, like, crystalline white ball just peers around me. <laughs> and it is my turn. Oh, wait, hold on. That might be a concentration. Before I do that, actually. Sure, I can do that without dropping. Globe of invulnerability. Some TD concentration. So never mind. Not gonna do that. So I'd like to keep that man paralyzed. All right. What are you gonna do instead? Um, and instead cast Ray of Enfeeblement. Ooh, that's um, a good spell. The one attacking Clementine. You cast Ray of Enfeeblement. Uh, Ray of Enfeeblement on a Hodogen. What's a save? It's a Constitution. Twenty-one. Blackjack. Wait. Uh, it does not pass. Wow. All right. By one point. Yeah, that's what you guys are trying to hit. A DC of 22 on the lightning. Uh, the lightning sparkles. It's only yeah. fair. Only fair. All right. Here I am thinking four teams. Oh yeah, that's gonna save. Oh god, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll keep concentration on Raven Feeblement and drop the hold monster. So the ice devil's no longer paralyzed. <sighs> you guys watch the ice devil <laughs> roll its shoulders, re rejoin the fight. Great, just what we needed. But the photogen does half damage now. That's good. Dolos and Koshechi, you see a photogen shrink down from his once mighty medium demon form, a uh, medium devil form. This is your turn. Giants turn. Yeah. Giants and Delosses. Right. 
Slippy, uh, you're up. Uh. You'd like to take Dolos and Coach Jessie's turn and then your own turn? Yeah. Gonna have to move Dolos back over to. Yep, those are gonna hit. And the bite uh, hits as well. Alright. Fifty-seven total damage. None of which he should have resistances to. Yeah, if they're all magic, uh, yep, yeah, my gears. Yeah, my gears. Got the 56 damage just fit so snugly right in there. Okay, I've got the damage. Alright, uh, how's the chain double looking? You see him wobbling, barely on his feet, bleeding heavily. Ah. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> be free. You make the save. You toss aside those chains, ripping free. Great, 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 great. Can you make me a... Is that a constitution save? Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, at 19. He's rolling high. Uh, plus four, 23. Never mind on that one. <laughs> All right, you see the chain devil get a little cocky. Uh, it's once, um, it's once moist brow. He wipes it off. Hey, <laughs> well, maybe I'll just live after all. Uh, all right, regular thing. God fucking damn it! I fucking hate my life. The Ice Devil, uh, seeing you out of sorts, uses the moment as an opportunity to swoop in and grab the Ice Devil. Oh, oh, he's grabbing the Chain Devil, but I realize the Ice Devil actually doesn't have wings. Mm. I was thinking of a Bone Devil. Damn it! If that's the case, uh, he uh, waves goodbye at his once good friend, the Chain Devil, and then starts uh, running away as fast as he can. He's going to do a double dash. You guys see him off the map. How far away is he? Because my spell ends if he gets out of range. He is uh, 80 feet away from this point. Okay, yeah, he's fought. Innovation's 60 feet, so that spell drops on him. Well, Innovate drops on him. That is going to be the end of the Ice Devil's turn. The Chain Devil. Well, he actually can see that things are heading downhill quickly. He is going to try and take a step this way out of Asclepius' range. You may take an opportunity attack if you wish. Alrighty. Uh, let me find the spell. Can I use any spell? What spell do you want to use? The spell has to target one creature only, and has the casting time of one action or less. So it can't be aerial spells. Correct. Alright. Mm -hmm. yes. A deck save. Twelve. Oh boy. That would be a fourteen total. Uh, what? How much health does he have? What's that? How much health does he have? Well, I know that, and you know that I know that information. Is it left?
I believe that would be... He has 38 health left. All right. Gone. Reduced to Adam. <laughs> you feel so <laughs> He exists no longer. You guys watch this chain devil take three, four steps, and then crumple to his knees and turn into ash before your very eyes. He got Thanos snapped. Yeah, you guys just watch him get half of the universe away. <laughs> All right, and that, uh, you guys watch that person turn into a pile of ash. Uh, Clementine! Seeing uh, the chain devil get turned to ash, I'll be like, you know, i snap my fingers. I like that move, and I'm going to cast my own disintegrate on uh, this boy right here in front of me. Ooh, a lot of disintegrates going flying. I like it. We need to make a deck that save. Is... That is a high DC. I don't think that's going to do it. I think he's got a high dex, but I don't think it's plus seven. Plus eight? Be plus five. He has a plus two to dex. 18. That's a fail, man. 69. 69. Nice. Of course. Nice. That's going to be enough. How do you want to kill him? Oh, well, it's disintegrate, so I'll just... I guess I'm standing right in front of him, so I'll I'll pull out my finger gun and I'll put it right on his chest, and I'll say, uh, it's been fun. I'll be seeing you never. And I'll shoot him with the, the finger gun as he disintegrates in front of me. <laughs> And he looks down, you'll never defeat me! And he looks down with a perfectly cylindrical hole in his torso. He takes a step, another step, and you watch the black veins radiate out from the wound and consume him completely as he turns into a very similar pile of ashes of the Chain Devil. My only regret is that I couldn't have killed that Chain Devil more gruesomely. Hmm. You look over at the pile of ash, and it seems to cry out in horror, somewhat still, somehow still sentious as a pile of dust. Oh, <laughs> His last cry from the afterlife. So if he's gonna gather up the dust in a vial. You see that the dust tries to resist and blow away, but you catch it, the remnants of it, and it's bottled up in its sorrow and pain. What's, what are you gonna be doing? Is there any reason to? I'm, I'm curious. He wounded More... my. Therefore, I just. It, it would make me feel a lot better to do something similar, I suppose. Okay. It's not a need. It's just. It, it's recreation. Rec oh, okay. I get. I understand. It's recreational. I understand. I understand. I need some people. Get the bottom half of the vial into the river sticks. I knew some people who did that kind of recreational stuff with uh with dust too so <laughs> oh wow you watch the dust go into the river and the person's soul ripped apart into oblivion the worst of all existence squished out and only a little bit of horror is felt in the back of your mind before nothing oh just a quick question does the river six dissolve class No. Okay, he's not dumping him in, into the river. He's taking the vial that he put the ashes into, and he's, like, dipping it into the river. So that the river, uh, the water uh, from the river is going into the vial, correct? Not into the vial, around the vial. So you're trapping him at the bottom of the sticks? Yes. So you mm -hmm. feel that consciousness completely trapped in ineptitude, unable to move forever at the bottom of this small section, this tributary of the sticks. It would seem more appropriate. If you just let him go in the river, he'll eventually die. Mm -hmm. You feel a horror. You feel like this being will never right die. Now. It's so hey. trapped in the vial at the bottom of the sticks, preventing from re-entering the hierarchy of the infernal. Good, good, good. Hmm. I mean, he was quite literally removed <laughs> entirely from this plane. 
almost. Yeah. In a sense. <laughs> I don't think he can be any more dead. Well, he could be. Kaylin has sat down on the ground, her orange crystal ball inside its metal ring cage is sat down in front of her and she's kind of muttering arcane words and studying it for a minute and then taking a short rest. I think this gives me time to do the thing. Ah. What Hold thing? Up. The thing. The thing. The thing. All right, can we take a, a rest? Preferably a nice long rest, but. I am gathering us a safe place to take a long rest. Yes. Do you think we might want to. No. Move a little bit first? No. This it's is fine. fine. No one will be able to enter. Okay. After the minute and then short rest, Kaelin's going to cast Mordenkainen's Magnificent Mansion. Ooh. Very nice. Well, this is a fancy thing you have here. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, Dulles is going to turn back into his regular ghosty form. And then and he's stumble away inside. <laughs> All right. I forgot an ability I had. So as I killed uh, the demon guy, actually, since with uh, the dark covers from being a necromancer, it heals me when I kill someone with a spell. So I actually get to drink some of his soul as well. You bend down and start slurping up the devil's powerful soul and feel energy surge through your body. Delicious. You feel a little bit buffer as your muscles swell. You feel yoked. <laughs> Who cast the uh, the mansion? Was that Clementine or Kalen? Kalen. Kalen, go ahead and describe the mansion as you guys stumble in there after a pretty significant fight with one of the nine hell's most powerful devils. All right. So entering in, it's this large, magnificent foyer uh, filled. The floor is made out of a dark black tile, but still heated. Immediately off to the left is a uh, wooden steps up to a dark uh, oak and uh, wood flooring with a large mahogany dining table. A hundred varying figures of spectral energy kind of appear and kind of get in a, uh, many lines in front of us waiting instruction by any means. A lot of the structure is very similar to elven design but instead of the silvers and bright colors it is more uh, dark and but it has uh, outlines of silver and white. Very fancy. As you guys enter and look forward to a very well-deserved rest, Aslipius, you are passing through the threshold of this magnificent mansion, and you hear a crack of a whip. Who's being kinky at this hour? I'm oh, sorry about that. That fight got me in the mood. <laughs> Muffled at first, you strain to make out the taunts of its wielder. You always were my weakest son, Thirstwell. You're the reason we died and found ourselves here. This is your fault. <laughs> you hear the crackle whip again. God. I'll go look for it. And as you come around the bend, you don't have to look far. It's right. It's amazing this was going on, this terrible scene, so close to you, unnoticed. Whoosh. Hear the crack of the whip again as you now see an Amnizu mercilessly whipping a corner to the mirror. 
Mother, please. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do at the time. The lemur chokes out between vicious lashings. The amnesu, however, is unpleased and unpulsed and continues to shred the gelatinous fleshed ribbons. How weak and stupid can you be, child? To allow the fall of the Vampanthia family, no matter. Once Baldur's Gate is dragged into Avernus, I will return to our city. And you, Thirstwell, your soul shall be returned to the River Styx. With a flash of a rift, the Remnizu strikes at the Lemur, cracking the air, and the face of the creature splits for in two. For a second, nothing happens, and then with two wet plops, the halves of the Lemur fall back into the River Styx. Oh, I remember. I didn't get the click until I heard the Van Them Pure. Does she look strong? No, she looks very, very weak. Ah, oh, she's not worth my time. Turning to go, you step back into the mansion, and with a final glance over your shoulder, you see another gelatinous pile of flesh rise up from the sticks. Mother, please, please stop, mother. I'll do anything, please. Once please again. You see him split in two, and his halves fall back into the river. I don't want to hear that throughout the night. Uh, you said she doesn't look strong, right? She does not. Okay, Sound can she hear? Into the mansion, just so you know. Okay. Can you make a con save for her? Yes, I will make the con save. Fourteen. Not good enough. God damn it, why does Salt Six radiant damage? Mizu. Wow, okay, uh, it's actually a lot stronger than I thought. What do you mean it's a lot stronger than you thought? She runs away. She's gonna go pick up First Will's Gillette's body and carry it back. You're able to find the two halves, and you both uh, disappear with this uh, Lemure's corpse into the uh, marvelous mansion. Is uh, it alive? You no, it's quite dead. Collecting pets, don't you? Oh, it's dead. I thought he came back after a couple of months. Do I have to dip him in the water or something? <laughs> you do wait the required amount of time, and eventually find uh, the Lemure reforming at the bottom of the sticks, and then crawling out disgusting wet <laughs> squelching flaps Do I know that's how he <laughs> yeah, but you're able to recover the living uh, thirst well as in um, uh, who is now a lemure and you disappear into the mansion and that's where we're going to take um... hmm. I didn't designate him as a creature that can pass so he's stuck outside Oh, yeah. He gets stuck by a barrier, invisible, as you try and enter the mansion, and he uh, flops to the ground in a wet, jarring puddle of pain. <laughs> oh, ew. And I'm thinking, well, let's just go for another, uh, let's do another 10, and then we'll end the session there. So let's, uh, a little housekeeping, go ahead and take your long rest, roll up some hit dice, and take the benefit of successfully completing a long rest uh, as you guys feel rejuvenated in this mighty mansion that you've uh, crafted for yourselves and it's quite a change of pace from the desolate blasted hellscape that you find yourself in ah, excellent nice to be nice and rejuvenated there are many rooms, bedrooms, rooms with things to do, training rooms, whatever you need or can be. Is there a drug den? No. Ghost there, Judge? Where am I supposed to throw my devil dust? 
I got a, I got a kilo of devil's dandruff to do over here. What? There's no mirrors? The fuck? There's no mirrored coffee tables? What am I supposed to do? Ghost Jetshi goes stomping around the mansion looking for a place to do drugs. There's a room that you can do drugs in, but there are not drugs available. Because you can't make them. Ghost, uh, Ghost Jetshi disappears in the closet and then emerges 15 seconds later with huge pupils. Hey man, we got some disintegrated devil to, to smoke. <laughs> Snorting ashes. This break. So, is there like a uh, wide space somewhere within the mansion that's floor? Yeah. Cool, yo. Uh, I'm gonna go in there, and then cast magic circle. And uh, there's quite a bit of other stuff as well. After casting Magic Circle, gonna do summon. Nope, not summon. Conjure Celestial in the Magic Circle. Interesting. Who are you conjuring? Uh, I actually have to find a thing to conjure. God, what are some level four Celestials? Uh, Pegasus. Is one. God, no one wants a Pegasus. Ava. No, uh, be too strong. There's not a lot of low level celestials. Alright. Uh I guess I can have a unicorn nope. What is a core? It has to be a challenge challenge rating four or less. So it seems. The spouses. I'll say you reach Con out. Oh, that can summon a feathered snake. Mm. Uh, appropriate. It's... Well, guess I'm, I'm getting that. Summon a codal. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, okay. You reach out, and feeling the end days of the Mayan calendar, you summon up Koatsukuwadu. Rayquaza appears before you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trash. All right. Well, now that it's in the magic circle, now I can't leave there. Let me actually read up the stuff on there because there's like a whole thing. Oh, uh, so good. It looks like Charisma save from that thing. Okay. I don't think a 12 is going to save. It's not. Oh. Uh. You can see if you want to climb Hey, man, I'm oh. just some cool flying snake. What am I doing here? What's going on? No. And now that it's in the circle and it's been conjured, I'm going to cast... Mass suggestion. Well, you could have just asked me nicely. What do you want? No. Hey, I'll do anything. I think it's already friendly to you. It is, but it won't stay around. I'm trying to get it to stick. It doesn't get that choice, even if your suggestion went through. Huh, I'm sure it can come back or something. I don't know. Because I know conjuring it is just bringing it. Oh, yes. No. Powerful magic. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see if Kotal knows uh, planar shift to see if he can come back to it. I can plan shift it myself. Hey, no need. All right, I'll be back in a moment. I got friends in high places. Hey, ho! And you watch the uh, the flying snake pull down a pair of glasses with its tail, and it <laughs> disappears, <laughs> and no, then reappears. Uh, okay. Now that I have Master Jesse going, I'm just gonna... God, what am I trying to say? I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained right now. There's a lot going on. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm a cool snake. I roll with the punches. <laughs> I don't know if I want the snake. It's a very... Uh, 
heavily DM discretion the pet we're summoning. Oh, we got a mop. We got a goop man. We got a giant. And we got a snake man. I'm sure, I'm sure that the evil demon giant and the celestial snake will get along just fine. The flying snake flies up to the demon lord and wraps itself inside of the body of this bare-chested frost giant. You leave the circle. You can't leave the circle staying there. Well, uh, you know, hey, I, I gotta go where I go. I'm flying snake. I'm wiggling around. No, you, around. Can, you can't physically leave the circle. That's why I put the circle down. You're not supposed to leave. He right. slithers. He flies and slithers back into the circle sheepishly. If a snake could be sheepish. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, with the mass suggestion, I'm going to suggest that he stay and fight alongside me for the rest of our days. Because we are similar kin. And it'd be cooler if you did. You're making some strong points there. I'll tell you what, I'll stay as long as I can. Very vague, but I'll, I'll take it. He slithers up and does like, um, he does his eyelids really squinty, and he's like, yeah, as long as I can. All right. I'm going to need him to make one more save. Uh, wisdom. Natural one. All right. Modify a memory. We've been best friends. For our entire lives, the whole 352 of them. We hatched out of the same batch. I remember crawling out of the egg with you, and we've been thick as thieves ever since. Yes. So that's in there. You guys are besties, and you all come to the end of a fine rest. Very refreshing. It took so much just to keep the freaking snake. Do you have the spell slots left for mass suggestion and modify memory? Modify what were you memory. Doing that whole yeah. fight. <laughs> modify memory. <laughs> yes. Making mass friends <laughs> with snakes, Celestials. What were you doing? Oh yeah, I did. Have Keeping the whole party alive. <laughs> oh, look, I don't have useful spells for that. I have conjure. Fa oh, I had conjure fae. Ooh, but no. I was running a lot of that fight. <laughs> I have a lot. Words that I had plane shift, in place for a while. Disintegrate, conjure face, sunbeam, and mass suggestion. Everything below that, uh, I, I tried my best. Most of the fight was spit grappled. You guys emerge out of the mansion in the morning, refreshed. The warm Avernus uh, air meeting you all. Makes you cough a little bit, the dry dust sucking the moisture out of your lungs. You all hear a familiar sound. Looking up to the sky, you hear the electric hum and look up to see Mad Maggie's Infernal Flyer descending down the canyon to your location. Hey, it's that lady who was sitting on the water. Mm. Oh, dang, son. They got it fixed. Nice. Poking his skull out the hatch, you see a waving fire of Barnabas the Flame Skull pulling the craft into a low hover. Miss Amelia, my oh, dear friends, uh, jump on! <laughs> We're getting the fuck out of here. Oslibia is good to see you. Hop uh, on. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hope we got space for all our new pets. <laughs> you guys jump on. Of course. As Koschechi and the uh, giant flying celestial snake uh, get on, the craft does uh, <laughs> lower a couple feet. What's the giant flying snake's name? Or can we? I want to name him Steve. 
Steve will work. Yeah, I see myself as a slither and sneaky. I mean, suspicious. I mean, oh, no, no. Uh, Steve, yeah, Steve. The snake, Steve the snake. Those words don't fit a lawful good, but okay. I feel like I just got technicality by my players again. Was, uh, we overlooked a lot of technicality so far, let's say. With this, <laughs> with this goal so far. Mm hmm. As you guys board the flying infernal ship, the screaming souls that power the vessel humming throughout the metal hull, you look forward as the ship rises up into the air and see a dust tornado headed in your immediate direction. Just as your ship crests up out of the chasm into the Avernus air, you see what's causing the dust tornado. It is Krokotoek headed directly in your direction. Its mouth gaping open, the masses of demons turning inside of it. Even at this distance, you can see the demon massive heading directly towards you, almost like it has the scent of some kind of celestial being. Oh wow, I wonder where that came from. That's wild. Mm. <laughs> uh. Maybe we, uh, maybe we ditch the magic snake. Can't we just change its alignment or something? Not you can maybe change its alignment that won't change its race. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more fit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get rid of it. But literally in hell, it could have affected any other type of creature. And we I don't have a summon fiend. It'll technically disappear at the end of the Congress Celestial, unless there's some other magic keeping it here. I mean, I used a vault load of magic to attempt to do so, so... At this point, it's really just up to the DM. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. We're fighting to the death. This is my oldest friend right here. Oh, thank God. But, I have a token for him. I thought he was pretty cool. This giant demon snake is, like, en enormous, right? So, yes. you could just eat all, all of us with one bite. I mean, theoretically, yes. Hey, I'd never do that. You guys are my friends. Any friends of uh, Slippy here is a friend of mine. Well, I'm, not, I'm not talking to you, Steve. I'm talking about the... <laughs> it's a dog thing, isn't it? Doesn't it have legs? In total, no. It's a flying snake with feathers. Oh, no, they're meaning oh, to no. The thing but, the but they're immune to psychic, bludgeoning, increasing, flashing from non-magical attacks, and they have two sight and 120 feet, and they can speak all languages, and they have innate spellcasting abilities, and they have magical attacks, and they can bite and shit. Oh, it can change its shape. It can polymorph on its own. I didn't have to do anything. And he's my friend. <laughs> yes, that too. As you guys rise up into the air. Krokek Toek takes a jump, just misses your flying craft as you rise up into the air, and you guys make a distance into the horizon. Turn and see that the tornado of dust kicked up by this demon beast steadily disappears into the distance behind you. And that's where we're going to end uh, this week's session. Thanks for playing, you guys. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna ditch this Cordal before he gets us killed. <laughs> it's kind of stuck that I look I at. I mean, we got yeah. the sword. What else do we need to do? Uh, the cereal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you know, have a celestial around to do celestial damage. Well, when Quincy's around, he's technically a celestial now. Oh, so I like it. We're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna be chasing him at the time. Yeah. If he cuts his life to steal now, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm blaming Quincy for me not getting the TPK today because if he was here, I would have been able to play with the Nazgul. Nazugan? Nazmagan? Nazmagan, you know. Well, it was pretty close regardless. Yeah. I was down to 15 HP. You guys have some really effective um, 
suck and uh, heal. I'm gonna call that the heal and suck combo. Yeah. I had two level two and two level three spells for that fight, and that's it. Uh, you guys.